Okay, so second time I am coming up with this model. I have just made the short video, which you have probably seen already, even though it was just a couple of seconds ago when I made it. I need a proper screwdriver to take this off. I want to investigate what is going on with this model because it does really bother me. Um, can't find a proper screwdriver that fits in there. It's either not the correct size or or I don't know or the screw is like screwed on like so badly. No, thank god it's not. Or is it? I don't know. At least it's not a spark model. It's a terrible it's your worst nightmare to take off a spark model taking it off from the base yeah that's that's one thing but to put it back on properly wow now we are talking a serious stuff oh look at that rolling wheels Yay. what on earth is this liquid like what the heck why would you do that surely it's not from the model has it been sprayed with something because maybe somebody wanted to play with it and maybe one of those wheels were not moving what the or another idea maybe someone was like dumb enough to they thought like oh let's put some silicone spray on these wheels to make it look nice and shiny what an idiot honestly if someone did that on purpose, I would just, ah, I would do really bad things to that person. No, not really, I'm kidding. But actually I would. Yeah, so, um, still got no idea what that is. It looks a little bit better. Oh my days. Yeah, I think these ones are uh, universal hobbies. But it does really look like it's a mini champs model. I don't know. Has that wheel been fixed? I don't know. Uh, I think uh, these models made by mini champs. Let's have a look of the bottom. It is definitely a diecast model. It's got nice and detailed driver figure in it. Um. Yeah. All right. Okay. You know what? Might as well. Let's have a closer investigation and then that's that review is done. Uh, I am going to do another video of this still because I am going to put these ones on and I'm really curious to to see like how is that going to turn out. I'm pretty sure this one 8 is going on here. And obviously on to the other side and I think maybe one of them goes to the rear wing I don't know I need to check the little paper otherwise I'm so happy with this model it's it's unbelievable how small it is compared to the new models now just to show you what I'm talking about Boof. look at this beast it's massive Check on that tiny little thing next to it. That's just crazy. That's crazy. They are in line now. Oh my goodness. And if you check the size of the helmet, you can see it's the same scale. It's just... Oh my god. On the on the video, it's, it's not even as much visible. But it's... It's just insane. It's... It's unbelievable. I carefully put it on top of this. Look at that. That's my goodness. That's brutal. And yeah, so anyway, that's how the these little cars used to be like with the V10 engine. You know, quite nicely detailed uh, cooler and everything in there. Driver figure is nicely uh, done as well. All the decals and everything on it. I just wondered if there is any little 
mild seven ones that I need to put on the helmet. Thank God there isn't any. Even though I think it should have been one over there. Uh, other than that, the exhaust could do a little bit of a more attention. Oh, not too bad. Yeah, the bottom and uh, the floor where all these little channels are. The diffuser, quite nice as well. So, my only question left is still like, what the heck is this liquid on this? It looks like it does come off, it did come off from the base, but I think it's like WD-40 or something like that. Why would you do that to your model? I don't know. But I'm going to wipe it off 100%, definitely, because it, it's just, it shouldn't be like that. I really shouldn't top it all over the place, because as I said, I'm going to put the Mild 7 thingies on it. This is one of the best liveries ever, I think. Especially the ones, I'm going to take it off from the stem. That one there, oh my god, such a beautiful livery. And obviously the other one next to it, the best McLarens. Yeah, they're just amazing. Um, but anyway, I think I'm done with this, with this video now. Thanks for watching and I'll be back shortly with the Mild 7 logos. See you later guys, take care.